Hello friends, once again a very good day to all of you. Nice that you have joined this video with me. Here in this video, we are going to discuss about the Charles Law and the gay low sex law. I hope you all remember, we saw the Boyle's Law in the last video and its applications and I had asked you a question like how the Boyle's law will explain the cosmonaut who is having a damaged suit, space suit. In case the cosmonaut's space suit is damaged, the space, the pressure is negligible. Therefore, the volume is going to be infinity and so the gases in the cosmonaut are going to expand and he will ultimately die. So that much serious is the importance of space suits to the cosmonaut. So a thermochemist or a chemist should know the seriousness of pressure and volume. Once again, I would like to remember, remind you that pressure and volume are inversely related. Now, we will see what is there in the Charles Law. Charles Law is relating the volume and temperature. Volume and temperature. What this Charles Law has to say? This law states that volume varies directly with temperature that is if the pressure is going to sorry if the volume is going to increase the temperature is also going to increase so at this law is explained at constant pressure so, at a constant pressure and at a constant mass, the Charles law says that the volume is directly proportional to the temperature. That is, when the temperature increases, volume increases. So, that is the essence of this Charles law. So, what is the mathematical form of Charles law? V by T is equal to constant or V is proportional to T. Okay. Yes. So, this picture is going to explain the Charles law beautifully. See, in this, the temperature is increasing and therefore, the volume is increasing. So, the whole setup is happening at a constant pressure and constant mass okay and uh, this curve is plotted and this is the curve for the charles law so once again the charles law says that as the temperature increases volume increases at constant pressure pressure is constant means when you are increasing the temperature, the volume should increase. And uh, we will see how this Charles law is applied. Suppose there is a balloon and you are just heating the balloon. You can see that it expands. So this expansion is due to Charles law. And now you can try this simple experiment in which you can understand the Charles law. See, you can just take the setup and uh, you can heat it. Before heating, you can see that the balloon is not bulged. But on heating, the balloon bulges because when the temperature is increased, the volume of the gas increases. The same balloon, if you are going to keep it in a freezer or ice, 
it is going to decrease so this exactly demonstrates the charles law so according to charles law at a constant pressure what happens that volume increases with increase in temperature right hope you understood the first law was boyle's law which stated that pressure increases volume decreases now volume increases when temperature increases so this is the charles law and can you guess suppose i have got a lace packet from the shop and i'm just trying to keep it over the boiling milk covered with a plate what would think will happen to the chips packet can you just guess it yes all of you would have guessed yes this chips packet would bulge because the air inside this packet is going to expand on heating because charles law says that at a constant pressure what happens when the temperature is increased volume increases so this is how the charles law is going to operate in our day to day life yes now the next law is the k lusex law this is also very similar to charles law but this relates pressure and temperature charles law relates volume and temperature boyle's law relates pressure and volume but k lusex law relates pressure and temperature what this k lusex law has to say is it says that the pressure increases as its temperature increases so whenever a pressure is increasing then temperature increases at a constant volume so in charles law pressure is constant but in k lusex law volume is constant okay when the pressure is constant charles law comes into play when the volume is constant k lusex law comes into play when the volume is constant when you are increasing the temperature the pressure also increases right or when you are increasing the pressure temperature increases hope you can understand so we will see some examples see for example you take a pressure cooker and pressure cooker has a constant volume now you are increasing the temperature suppose you do not have this whistle or safety valve what happens the pressure keeps increasing and so there is an explosion hope you can understand this k lusex law yes so what the law says as you increase the temperature the pressure increases the same is applied here when you are increasing the temperature at constant volume what happens the pressure increases and the excess pressure is sent out through the safety valve and if there is no safety valve what happens the cooker explodes right see how the law gas laws dominate every part of our daily life yes isn't it interesting yes yes very good so now we will see another application of gay lusex law see suppose there is an aerosol container and you are just heating it what happens as the temperature increases the pressure increases but the volume of the container is small so what happens the can explodes okay so when you have some can perfume can or some can 
aerosol can we should not take it to a high temperature center why because it is going to explode why it will explode when the temperature increases the gas inside has a pressure increased so because of that it tends to come out right yes same thing with the car tire suppose you have a car tire and uh, you are just taking it in a very hot weather what happens it just bursts out because with increase in temperature the pressure of the gas in the car tire is increased and therefore it bursts so this is how the gay lose x law operates in our day to day life now by combining all the three laws we have seen so, so far namely boyle's law charles law and gay lose x law we get a combined gas law which is given as pv by t is equal to k and uh, this is very very useful so in the next video we will see about another gas law that is avogadro's law thank you